Hello, greetings to one and all. Welcome to Jack's Curated Business Ideas. Today's topic is the Bachelor's Club. Some marriages fail because expectations are not fully managed. Some fail due to lack of preparedness. Some due to the wrong mindset and some due to incompatibility. And maybe there might be other reasons. With this business model, we intend to proactively groom bachelors for marriage. It will be a user-led online activity. Different aspects of marriage will be explored. Professionals will facilitate the process. Experienced husbands will be involved. Newlyweds and potential husbands will also be involved. Rather than impose the right or wrong on the audience, the idea is to explore rhetorical questions and then the potential husbands could make individual conclusions. Now let's talk a bit about the value proposition. Basically what we are going to be doing is proactively helping adult males make informed decisions on marriage by leveraging the internet. Now the process. Now this is not in any particular order, but at this if you can get the points we are making. Now you can create your curriculum. You can do marketing. You can arrange meetings. You can send reminders to attendees. You can have some automation of processes or semi-automation. You can have your rules and regulations. You can sort out legalities. You could articulate discussion points. You could moderate meetings. You could signpost your audience to more content and also to mentors. You could give homework to your attendees. You could have a registration process in place, etc. Now let's talk about the number of participants. Each session could have about maybe five to 10 clients, depending on your judgment call. This could be more manageable and more effective with a bit of a personal touch. Depending on the topic at hand and logistics, a professional, experienced husband, a recent husband may be in attendance individually or collectively. Let's talk about the curriculum. This shall include various aspects of marriage from pre-marriage, from pre-marriage to marriage to post-marriage. It shall also include parenting, spirituality, case studies, sexual issues, in-laws, sickness, death, etc. Digital content. There shall be complementary digital content. This shall be updated as necessary. This could be on different platforms, such as social media, blogs, membership sites, podcasts, etc. Marketing considerations. Um, you may want to consider digital marketing, social media marketing, influencer marketing, 
testimonials, search engine optimization, content marketing, word of mouth, print marketing, radio marketing. You might actually explore the services of a digital marketer, DIY marketing, that's do-it-yourself marketing, website marketing, blog marketing. You know, you might also want to use a, a proper domain name to get people to your value proposition. You could also explore WhatsApp marketing, sales funnel, collaborations, front links and back links, and internal links. Benefits of the products and services. This includes networking opportunities, useful knowledge dissemination, added societal value, wealth creation, job creation, marital round pegs to round holes, monetization, education, reduced divorce rate, more productive society, minimized conflict, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's talk about the unique selling proposition. It's a proactive way of empowering bachelors to learn and make informed decisions on marriage by leveraging the internet. Here are some costing considerations. Digital devices, human resources, profit sharing formula app, communication network, time, marketing, profit, as in profit margin, number of clients, competition, discounts, logistics, etc. Here are some pricing considerations. Profit margin, cost of delivery, affordability of customers, volume of clients or customers, complementary products and services, sales funnel, profit sharing formula app, competition in the marketplace, operational costs, capital costs, demand and supply, etc. Now let's talk about the time and frequency of the meetings. This is to be agreed by stakeholders and the client or clients. It could be weekly, fortnightly, monthly, etc. Now the duration of each session could be one hour, it could be 30 minutes, it could be 45 minutes, etc. depending on what you agree. Now you also need to agree on the time of the day when the sessions will take place, whether it's going to be in the mornings, afternoons or evenings. And then you also need to decide on the day of the week. This could be during the week, during the weekdays, in the evenings maybe, or maybe during the weekends, at whatever time you agree, or as agreed. But please consider global time differences. If your clients are in different countries or time zones, or you definitely need to take this into consideration. What problem are you solving? Well, you are going to try to reduce the rates of divorces. You are going to try to educate men on intricacies of marriage. You are going to add 
value to society. You are going to add value to marriages. You are going to reduce marital conflict. You are going to add value to the marriage institution. Now let's talk about profit sharing formula between the stakeholders. A profit sharing formula app could be used in effective, fair and just profit sharing among business stakeholders. The team shall have shall share profits based on agreed criteria. The profit sharing formula app tracks this effectively. Now let's talk about funding of the business. The business model isn't expected to be costly. The stakeholders could finance the business or get outsiders to finance it. The profit share formula app could be used in effecting fair sharing of profits. Funding could be got via crowdfunding, stakeholder funding, investors, bank loan, or loan from family and friends, etc. Requirements for club membership. Definitely, they need to do an application. Uh, they have, you have to, uh, they have to fit into your criteria. They need to have a digital device. They need to have internet access. They need to be regular attendees. They need to be proactive. Of course, they need to make payments and they need to be committed. Business requirements. This includes a di digital devices, administration, internet connection, human resources, Zoom or other communication platforms, membership site, social media platform or platforms, marketers or advertisers, IT and technic or technical leads. You need to carry out relevant research and development at, at any point as necessary, etc. Now let's talk about the monetization plan. You could leverage multiple platforms such as social media, membership sites, books, maybe via Amazon or alternatives, blog, podcast, etc. There shall be payments for sessions, for example, one-to-ones or one-to-many. You could also do affiliate marketing on your platforms. You could do public speaking. You could include paid adverts on your platforms. You could leverage co collaborations. You could offer consultancy to individuals and organizations. Suggested payment plans. This could be quarterly payments. It could be biannual payments, in which case you may decide to give a discount. For example, maybe a 5% discount. It may be annual payments, in which case you may want to give maybe 10% discount, etc. Possible payment gateways. This could be through Stripe, PayPal, Pioneer, Flutterwave, etc. Please do your due, do your research and carry out due diligence. Refund policy. Research and include this in your contract. This helps with expectation management 
and reduces or avoids conflict. There are also templates online. Feel free to pick and choose and edit as necessary. Now, who are your target demographics? Some suggestions are undergraduates, fresh graduates, graduates, Muslims, Christians, other religious groups, adults, youths, Nigerians, Yorubas, Hausas, Igbos, diasporas, uh, it could be divorcees, widowers, old, older men, those who share common values, community groups, adults, youths, um, different ethnic uh, people of different ethnicities, or it could be a combination of the above. Now let's talk about your business team. This could include marriage counselor, excuse me, this could include a marriage counselor, experienced husband, a recent husband, religious clerics, content creator, experienced wife, a recent wife, widow, widower, divorces, both male and female, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, marketer, etc. There could be duplication of roles by individuals. Some of the above mentioned will be ad hoc. They will also be anonymous as necessary. Um, they could be invited to sessions whenever the need arises. Now let's talk about platforms for communication. This shall be online. It could be through Zoom, through Google Team, um, it could be through social media, it could be through WhatsApp, either WhatsApp text or audio, etc. Um, by the way, a small disclaimer. This is just a business idea. It's just an idea. You need to fine tune it and let it fit your business or your strategy, etc. So it's just an idea. It's not an end in itself. You need to perfect it to suit your purpose. Now let's talk about value chain. This includes content creation, marketing, knowledge dissemination, blogging, book authoring, content marketing, brainstorming, etc. Let's talk a bit about legalities. You need to put in place legalities. In addition to the refund policy, you need to include terms and conditions. You need to include disclaimers and legal agreements or contracts with all related parties. Now this includes with clients, with stakeholders and any other related third parties. Now, what is the product or service in simple, understandable language? It is an organized set of online sessions where adult men are counseled and educated on marriage, on marriage and its pros and cons so that they can make informed decisions before embarking on the journey of marriage. Now, can this business be scaled? I think it can. You could replicate the business model to different niches. For example, the same model can be replicated for spinsters, for Muslims, for Christians, 
for other religious groups, for different age demographics, for different languages and ethnicities, for different countries, for different diasporas, etc. You could also have a franchise. Now let's talk about complementary products and services as well as income streams. Now this could include books, online content, premium products and services, one-to-one -one sessions, membership sites, blogs, affiliate marketing, podcasts, adverts on your platforms, social media channels, mentoring, dating websites, gift service, grooming bachelors, grooming spinsters, optimal job search and income opportunities. Of course, if you're going to be a husband, you need to have a good income so that you can support the family. So that's where the optimal job search and income opportunities comes in handy. You might either decide to do that yourself or work as an affiliate marketer for those other people who offer that service. Content and training on parental skills, etc. Now let's talk about perks. As perks to your clients, you could offer discounts on products and services. You could make them affiliate marketers of your products and services and give them generous commissions. For those who perform exceptionally, you could offer them additional perks, such as free complimentary products and services, or with additional discounts, or maybe you could collaborate with them on other products and services. Now let's talk about exit strategy. Clients, let's talk about exit strategy for clients. They could terminate the service at any point. They could give notice or not, depending on the contract they signed. They may get a refund if your policy permits. They could assign their remaining unused product and services to relevant others. They could come to an agreement with you on, on this. Now, as for stakeholders, the exit strategy. For, for the stakeholders, the profit sharing formula app probably addresses this. Alternatively, the legalities document could address this. All documents or agreements could be amended as necessary. If the agreement doesn't effectively, effectively address the issue, there shall be mutual or fair agreement, or maybe you might involve an arbiter or somebody conflict, regulu conflict, regul re conflict resolution agent to mediate. The agreement could then be amended accordingly so that you don't make the same um, mistake twice. Now, I hope that you got some value from this presentation. If so, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and reposting. Also, feel free to follow us and comment as necessary. If you wish to take this further, or to take further any other of Jack's curated business ideas, please search for business collaborations with Jack Lukman online, or visit jacksempowerment.com. Do us a short email and we shall respond. Alternatively, you can visit Book a Chat with Jack Lukman. You can find this on jacksempowerment.com. 
This is Jack Lukman signing off. Ireo, Ire Kabiti. <laughs>